Good evening. First this evening, Stephen Casals claims that he was in another room doing heroin when his stepson, Omari Varela, was beaten to death. That came out in day one of his trial. While prosecutors insist Casals helped his wife kill Omari and at the very least did nothing to stop it. News 13's Haley Rush is covering that trial. She is live downtown at District Court. Haley. Dean, the jury was warned this would be a difficult trial and they would hear some disturbing evidence. There was um, bite marks, um, some burn marks and bruising. First responders took the stand this afternoon. They spent most of the time describing Omari's injuries and what they tried to do to save his life after getting the call back in December of 2013. Prosecutors say the boy died from internal bleeding when he was stomped to death and that there was also bite marks and cigarette burns on his body. Today, Casais' attorney claimed Omari's mother is the only killer, but prosecutors pointed out that Casais' alibi that he was shooting heroin in the bathroom at the time could be just a latest story. They say no one called 911 for more than 30 minutes, and Casais' wife Cynthia claimed Omari had fallen off a rocking horse. Some police and paramedics were immediately suspicious when they arrived. I found it very odd and that neither one asked ever about his condition. They didn't seem upset or wanting to see him. As for those cigarette burns, Casalsis says Omari had run into him while he was smoking. Now the trial is expected to last two weeks. Now, if he's convicted, he could face life in prison. Dean, back to you. All right, Haley, thank you. There's still a question whether Omari Varela's, uh, Omari's uh, mother, Cynthia Varela Casals, will be competent to stand trial. Be sure and stay with KRQ News 13 for continuing coverage of the Casals trial. We will be in the courtroom each day, and we will bring you the latest. And, of course, you can watch the trial live on KRQE.com and on our KRQE News app.